Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you are about to see here. I was recently doing this clean out of like wallets, accessories, little change purses and makeup bags and all that stuff you know you accumulate so much over the years and then it's really difficult to get rid of those things at least i accumulate that kind of stuff so i was going through this basket in my closet and i was realizing you know there's a lot of stuff that i could give to goodwill i used to even subscribe to itsy and i had all these little tiny makeup bags and I just thought it's time to part with that stuff. But while I was going through all my stuff and I had to clean it, so you might see like a little wet spot here. That's just from some cleaner that I put on because there was a stain right here. I had this little credit card wallet and this is something that I used in the very beginning of when I started to organize my cash. I won't say I was stuffing cash envelopes at the time, but this is like years ago. And I was just trying to categorize my cash. So I would spend it wisely when I was at the store and, you know, kind of, um, same principle as cash envelopes. I just wasn't using cash envelopes at the time. So this is a double zip little credit card holder. And I have linked something exactly, probably exactly the same down below. And if you open it up, it's this accordion style. And so you have lots of different, um, like little files for, you know, credit cards, gift cards, um, membership cards, or cash. And on this side, it just has one large um, area here that's gusseted. So you can fit a ton in here. You, It's really deceiving because it is quite small, but you can fit a lot in here. And then there's this little... Um, it's a really tight little pocket on the back wall here, but it's there. So I was thinking, you know, about some people might be leery to do this cash envelope system because it does take up a lot of space. These envelopes take up a lot of space, especially if you're taking them with you to the store or, you know, what have you. So, um, you know, different systems are for different people. And so if you're somebody who wants to organize your cash and you want to use like a cash organization system, but you don't necessarily want to have a cash envelope wallet that holds these large envelopes, or you just don't want to go through this kind of process. Oh, my dog's barking. Sorry about that. Um, there are different ways to do it. So you can use something like this and you can still organize your cash very neatly and um, efficiently. And you can use little labels like this. So I was kind of thinking about that because before when I did this, when I was using this system personally, I would use like a little binder clip on my cash. And I didn't have these cute little gold ones at the time. I just had some plain little black ones with like a silver, um, like a silver tab here. I don't know what you call these, like a clamp. Um, so I had these little tiny mini black ones, but since then I got these cute little gold ones and I, I just love these, but um, you can, I was using something like this. And then what I did, I took my cash, so I'm taking my savings funds just so I can have some money on hand. And what I would do is I would fold the cash like so, and I would clip it, you know, and then in order for it to fit in the, in the, um, wallet, I would have to actually turn those down, but I would clip a little paper here, like what kind of category this was. So if it was, you know, groceries or gas money or what have you, and then I tucked it right in here and it looks like it doesn't hold, but it does. And so I just zipped it right up. Now this is a tight fit. There are many, many sizes of these out there. This just happened to be the one that I bought in the very beginning. So what I would do when I had any excess, say I spent, you know, I don't know, let's say this is, what is this, $40 here. Um, let's say I spent like $30 and some odd change. I would still um, clip everything together. I would put the coins back here and I would tuck this right back here and use this as my section to hold leftover money. So really simple, you know, really easy and just like a, a very basic, I guess. So the other thing that I was just thinking recently that you could do is you can actually affix something like this. So I'm going to take off one of these tabs and I have these tabs linked down below because I just use these to um, redo my budget notebook or my previous budget notebook. So what I would do is I would 
come above the cash just like ever so slightly because you know you're gonna be able to see this still fold the cash in half and tuck it right in here so then when you have you know a bunch of different categories and stuff you know you can open this up and then you can see how everything is filed so just really easy like that the other thing that you can do is you can use a plain post-it so you don't have to actually go out and buy tabs or anything like that you don't have to be fancy about it what you can do is so basic you can actually use the sticky side here and use it instead of you know on top instead of doing that, you could do this. I mean, that's no big deal, but you can actually kind of um, fold your cash together so you can kind of keep it together and turn it over. So use the sticky side on the side. And then now this is actually keeping your cash together. So that's another way you can just kind of tuck it right in here. So there's many ways that you can do this. And like I said, this is super tiny. This is actually made for credit cards. So cash is obviously, you know, larger than a credit card. It's taller and obviously you would have to fold it and things like that, but um, you can make it work. And um, if this isn't for you, if this is a little bit too tiny, you can definitely find other ones. If you search uh, Amazon, um, I do have something exactly like this linked below. But if you search Amazon for other items and just search, you know, cash wallets or no, I'm sorry, credit card accordion wallet. That's what I um, found. That's how I found something like this, because this is like accordion style. Yeah. Do the Amazon search for credit card accordion wallet and you'll come up with lots of different options there's literally thousands out there so um yeah i linked just a basic one like this and um the one i linked is floral or something it comes in like lots of different colors but what i like about this one especially is that it does have that rfid protection so if you decide that you're going to use this for your credit cards then you can simply put those in here and this has that added protection that's um prevents people from stealing the credit card information from the magnetic strip just by like walking by you. I don't know. I guess that's um, something that we all have to be concerned about now. But yeah, so that has this too. But um, yeah, this is really handy. I like this. I like this also, you know, now I'm not using this to organize cash or anything, but I like this for credit cards. I think that it's like super efficient and you can fit so many in here. But I also like this to organize gift cards. I like this to organize, you know, gift cards and maybe membership cards and things like that. Like something that you don't need to actually touch every day. Um, you can, it can actually have its own like little wallet for it and like a little system, you know, I don't know. But anyways, lots of uses for that. So I guess that's sometimes why I hold on to the things that I hold on to because, you know, I may have used this for cash at one point, but at another point I may use it for something else. So, um, yeah, I guess maybe that's how I justify holding on to a lot of my stuff. But I just wanted to do this quick video because I know there's a lot of people who uh, maybe are on the fence about, you know, using cash envelopes, um, like this, or maybe just don't think that this is, you know, I don't know. It's not, it's kind of cumbersome if you wanted to take these with you sometimes, depending on, you know, what kind of purse you carry and, um, you know, and all that. Everybody's different. I mean, everybody's um, preferences are different, but I love the cash envelopes. I mean, I've been a fan of them ever since, um, you know, I started using them and I just think that they are so, clean and organized for my purposes at least and I just I like having like everything laid out in there and being able to like take a peek like this and organize it I don't know just something about it but anyways um so yeah you could use post-its you can use tabs you can use a little clip you can use a paper clip you don't have to use anything fancy whatsoever but there's tons of ways to organize your cash if you're thinking about using a cash organization system so I just wanted to do this video and give you guys um a couple different ideas and also just to check in and see how you're doing and um, tell you that I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy and that everybody is good. Um, things are starting to open up slowly where I live, um, just a little bit at a time, but 
you know, we'll see how that goes moving on into the future. Um, I know that some things have opened up and closed up right afterwards, like the Ford plant I heard about. Um, so there's still a lot of kinks to work out, I think, you know, depending on the business and things like that. But um, I'm sure we're going to see things moving in a positive direction, hopefully, in the near future. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I will see you this week for my paycheck organization video and show you guys how I'm allocating all the money for that and also some other updates. So thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.